Yeah. Oh, I got it again. I hit it, but I didn't get it. It seems to be coming in a... There we go. There's a scientist guy here looking for the Red Bird of Happiness, and I just shot it down! Bahaha! I've been searching for the Red Bird of Happiness for some sort of years now. I've been a long way. The thing is, I'm learning on a new picture. I thought he said something about seeing Mario's face. He feels like... It feels like... Mario's face make oh, Mario's face makes him feel like that he's never going to see it now. Anyway, there's only one more left, which the location of this one makes it seem like a giant toy box more than anything. Right here, it's kind of close to the edge, but there we go. Ah yes, um. Sequence breaking is fun. I guess it's a sequence breaking. I assume it is a type of sequence breaking. Okay, where that star sprite go? Yes, star, sp star sprite. What? What the heck was that? You know what you're talking about. And there's a third shine sprite. I should just get sixteen. I should try and get more. I I don't know. Actually, at this point, I'm just going to actually head into the, um, and we're actually going to actually do what I'm supposed to do now. Look, there's Peach and Toadsworth. And there's a plant that got trapped. And I think a Toad got trapped, too, although it might be later on. I know one later on gets trapped, but I think one got trapped at this point, too. Because you're dumb and just walk right into the stuff. Oh, yep. It's the green one. It's Luigi Toad. Or should I say. Toad DG. Anyway, I doubt that's very efficient. These things are weird. They're goop monsters of goopy doom and whatnot. Anyway, using this thing is not that hard, but using this thing is not that hard either. Hello. Goodbye. Ah. Uh, did I? Oh yeah, I got some else. Haha. -ha. Yeah, it's a panta statue. On the statue's head. Mamma mia! It's Cosmic Mario. He yeah, got red eye. Maybe they should take that out of the picture. And the funny thing is, in the cutscene, he has red eyes, but everywhere else, he doesn't really have red eyes. It's like the only time he has red eye, I think, actually. I don't even think he has red eyes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't even have red eyes in the uh, official artwork. The kidnapping, have the. Mm, yes. It's, what, what, did he, what did he do that for? Come here, you. You're. Are you. I, I guess maybe it's made of goop or something, but it just makes a whole lot of sense to be being subdued by simple water. Not for being subdued very well, though. Oh, great, now two toes. Oh, I guess one toe. Oh, look, Peach ended up right back where you start. Well, you shouldn't be. Hey, I'm going to go. Ahead. See, I'm here before you. Wait, where'd I go? I killed me. Man, yeah, that sure makes sense. Ah, thank you, sort of goofy, and some of the goop turned into part of the rhythm. Bianco Hills is what I'm going to be calling this. If you don't like it, you can go to the showers or something. Yeah, even though he's there, he's not actually there when you go there. So the first level. Whoops. Ah! It's kind of funny this sign, Echo Harbor and Pino Park, you know. Yep, that's what I'm gonna call them. <laughs> Let's slide! Fine. Fine. A lot of goop around here. Ah, that's good. Wow, 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 wow. 
I like doing that. Oh, what the heck? Oh yeah, I remember that. For some reason, the entire wall got submerged in goo. It's like, how the heck did that happen? Anyway, I, I like doing this. Er, no, I like doing this. No, wait, no, wait. Wait, no, wait. Yeah, that. You kind of flip the water around. I don't like doing that too much. I always try to get these things completely cleaned off, and it never worked. We can do this. Okay, yes, you can do that. Anyone could. But you can also do this. Yes, you can get hurt in this game. But you can also do this. There you go. You can just sort of splarch it. I don't think it does anything useful. Anyway, I'm going to be wacky and do things in a wacky way because I'm wacky like that. Wacky. Maybe I should start using the term odd tastic. Yeah, I'm gonna do this in an odd tastic way because that's the way I roll. Okay, so let's. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't want to do that. Stupid momentum. Okay, let's stop. Ah! Ah! Oh, well, that's only much one have. Yeah, I'm gonna do this from the from the type tightrope. Heck, forget doing it from the tightrope. I'm going to do this. I'm gonna do it while spinning. This is a logical idea, right? Well, it's working. And I, it, just a tiny bit of water fell into its mouth and it died. It's like warden vegetables. And that giant hill comes up, and Mario, what are you doing over there? I thought you were over on the tightrope. So at this point, you can actually go up and meet that giant piranha head over there. And it's the only time you can do a shine tried out of order, but technically you still have to do this shine tried first, so whatever. I kind of like both Super Mario 64's way and Super Mario Sunshine's way in that Super Mario 64, you can get them in pretty much any order with a few. Look, that one's already available. That's just ridiculous. And some toads are sitting down and going, Hi, I'm a toad. Look, there's the yellow guy. Where, where's the blue one? I think the blue one. Yeah, the blue one is over by the uh, lighthouse now, I think. And it gets stuck in goop later on. Um. I'm gonna bounce on Peach now. I said I'm gonna bounce on Peach now. Okay, maybe you can't bounce on Peach. You can banish on Toadsworth. And it can strain both. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Toadsworth is pretty great. Yeah, the bouncing on people came from this game and was used in Super Mario Galaxy and down with PD Piranha. And then Super Mario, 6, Super Mario S Galaxy didn't have water, but he could um, hit him with star bits and spin around with him, so whatever. Anyway. Um, what was I about to say? Oh, yes. I like how this game sort of has a story that goes along with the, uh, sh uh science fights, but I also like how Super Mario 64 lets you do them in any order, pretty much. Where did all this goop come from? That's how I cleaned it up. And by cleaned it up, I mean just defeated the Prana Plant and then cleaned itself. But, um... Um... Yeah, I like how- I like both versions. I kind of- I kind of would have liked something where there are a few shine sprites, like, um, Super Mario Galaxy that are in order and would actually make a story, which Super Mario Galaxy would not make a story, and guess what, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is going to apparently have even less of a story, so apparently it doesn't have a story at all, and apparently it doesn't know anything, and I don't like it, and I complain about it a lot now. But, um, and then there's a bunch of other shine sprites that aren't actually in a specific scenario that you'd have, or shine sprites or stars or whatever, jiggies, that aren't in a specific story based setting and aren't in a specific scenario based setting like most of them are, usually are, but. I would like that because then you could have both any order you want for most of them and you still have a story to go with. Anyway, I want to get the blue coins later. That's easier way of going about it, I'd say. Also, I probably should have got my guide out so I would have known which shine, which blue coins I can 
save for the end and which one is you have to get in certain form. Anyway. Hello, PD Prana. Haha, <laughs> you went. Ooh! Rawr! Look, it's. Well, that wasn't a good idea. I like how they actually seem to have the boss show. That's my computer went to sleep mode. Show motion and how it's like, oh, carp. And that it's about to go down. And what? 